Shalom. Before I get started, I'd like to say all praise goes to Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Sai, Bahasim, Ha, Rekar, Kadus. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and taught me this truth. And peace and salutation to you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe, preaching us, preaching this gospel uh, in truth and sincerity. Shalom. All right, Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity. And work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it, because it is in the power. It is in the power of their hands. Why? Because according to Job nine twenty four, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So they have all the power to do whatever, and they're in rulership. Esau Edom is in rulership. So what they do is they come up with all of these plans. To fuck up, uh, fuck over uh, Israel, and then when they, uh, when the daytime it comes, they put it in, they put it in, in motion because they got the power to do it. So look at this year. Let's just look at this year. All right, they gave you that uh, general got killed with Iran, made you think you was going to World War Three at the beginning of the year. Everybody was scared. Then they brought a fucking coronavirus. Everybody was fucking scared. Then they brought George Floyd, not everybody out protesting, but just last week or last uh, uh, two weeks ago, everybody was f fucking scared of the coronavirus. So the elites are just dragging you people from one thing to another. Meanwhile, under the backdrop, the economy is collapsed and the dollar is almost about to collapse. All right. While you peons are worried about everything other than, you know, this collapse. Hey, hey, these these devils are stealing all your money and they're collapsing your system and they're setting you up for the okie doke. And Jake wants things to go back regular. Jake wants to walk around and hold hands with these people. Micah 2 and 2. And they covet fields, meaning they covet, they want what you got. And they take them by violence. And that's how they got over here to America. According to Nahum, uh, Nahum 3 and 1. Let's see what that says. All right, woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not. And who's the prey? Uh, uh, the prey is uh, you Israelites. Okay, and we're still over here. This man stole us from the west coast of Africa and brought us over here on slave slips, save slave ships. All right, and, and guess what? Ishmael, you were, you were included. You helped build them ships. All right. And you fucking Jews, y'all funded it. You fake-ass Jews over there in our land, y'all funded it. Okay? You came over here, you killed off a guy, all right? And then you took over their land. Hey, so hell is coming for you, Esau. Hell is coming for you, Esau. Believe that. All right, so, and they cover fields and take them by violence in the houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his in his house, even a man and his heritage. And that's what they did. They stole us. They brought us over here to pick their cotton out of their fields. They got four, uh, they got, uh, five, uh, they got 400 hours, uh, uh, 400 years of free labor. And fuck that. We've been in slavery for 500 and they still getting free labor because they're not paying us nothing on these jobs. And everything we do get, it go through our, our pockets like as if holes in it. All right. Because we're under the curses. So we can't keep nothing. All right. So yeah, these devils is going down, man. And these are some of the atrocities that they done to Israel. Israel, you know, they stole us. All right, against our will. All right, and did all kind of uh, horrible things to us. Habakkuk, Habakkuk two and four. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. Esau is not upright, but uh, the Israelites, they live by faith. They are all right. They were created to be perfect in the image of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Sai. But Esau, he can't do the right thing. All right. That's why he's he's setting up all of these things, collapsing the economy. All right. And he's doing what a devil will do, deceiving the people. Two thirds are deceived. And he got all you other peons in a raw, in the uproar. 
Verse 5, yea, also because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man, neither keep it at home. See, he goes all around the world, rape, robbing, pillaging, and taking their resources, who enlarges his desire as hell, meaning he can't get enough, and is as debt. Yeah, he, he everything everywhere he goes is the border of wickedness, and cannot be satisfied, but gathered up, gathered unto him all nations. That's why America is filled with all people. It's a melting pot, all right, with every different nation over here, religion, nation, nationality, and heap unto him all people. So not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, woe to him that increaseth that which is not uh, not his. How long? And yeah, that's what that's what these uh, other nations, Russia, China, Iran, woe to you, death and destruction to America. You stealing and robbing everybody. How long can this last? And to him that laid it himself with thick clay. Yeah, you, you, you. Your fucking uh, uh, currency system is a debt-based system, all right? And now we're seeing that there's 70, uh, they're like $55 million, trillion dollars in debt, all right? The debt, the, the, the national debt went up to $26 trillion, but you can't count out the, uh, the people's debt. So you combine that together, it's about $55 trillion. Which is more than that. These devils lie and exaggerate everything. All right. And you two thirds, you just eat it up. All right. But this is the beautiful thing. We're seeing and witnessing the destruction and downfall of our enemies right now as, as I speak. All right. So that's, that's, a, that's, that's the beautiful thing. Revelation 13 and 9, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patient and the fate of the saints. And who came over here and raped, robbed, and pillaged Gad, Reuben, uh, Simeon, uh, Issachar? Who did that? Esau, Edom, all right? With his warfare, he was gifted with the sword, and he's been using it against the Israelites, okay? He's Yahweh by Simeon, Yahweh side sword. Jeremiah 50 and 33, thus said the Lord Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captive held them fast, they refused to let them go. And we're still under this man's uh, uh, under this man's hand to this day, to this day, man. And Yahweh by Simeon is coming back to revenge us. Isaiah fourteen and twenty one, prepare a slaughter for his children for the iniquities of their father. A slaughter for his children. That's what we're doing spiritually by speaking this word and condemning everything you devils do. And your iniquity means sin on top of sin, which your fathers committed. All right. And you're back in your reincarnation right now. You wore your fathers. You wore those those men that persecuted the Israelites in hardcore slavery. That they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of you guys. Get rid of Esau, Edom, according to Obadiah. And burn you all the way so you can't come back and try to do the same shit you're doing to us again. Put us back in slavery. Job 27 and 13, this is the portion of a wicked man with Yahweh and the heritage of oppressors, of oppressors which they shall receive of the Almighty. So this is your portion, Esau, Edom. And his children, if his children be multiplied, it is for the sword and his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. That's why your, your children are seeking to please the poor now. They're not satisfied. They fucked up. And all of your children are being multiplied to, for the sword. All of the Esau, Edom, uh, these so-called white people are going to die over here in Babylon in various parts of the earth. Various parts of the earth. Psalms 137 and 7. Remember, O Yahweh. The children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem who said, race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. Yeah, you wanted to totally genocide the Israelites. Verse 8, O daughter of Babylon, 
who are, that's America, who are to be destroyed. America will be destroyed. They're the daughter of Babylon. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. And what have they done to the uh, Israelites? Rape, rob, and pillage them. Happy shall he be that take it and dash thy little ones against the storm. Yeah, we're going to be enjoying that. The men of the Lord are going to enjoy that time. Joel 3 and 1, for behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. That's that Middle East region. And will plead where all you other nations are going right now and will plead with them there for my people. When he pleads with you, he's going to be knocking you off, killing you for his people, for, for recompense. All right. And for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. See, see, we're we're Yahabashim, Yahabashim's heritage. And y'all just totally fucked over us. And y'all went above and beyond with it. So now you got to get judgment. Deuteronomy 19 and 21, uh, the book of the law. And thine eyes shall not pity, but life shall go for life. Eye for eye, two for two, and hand for hand, foot for foot. All right? So y'all about to get y'all ass handed to you. Jeremiah 16 and 18. And first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double because they have defiled my land. They have filled my inheritance. There's a girl go again with the carcasses of their detestable and abominable things. See, Esau, all that shit you done to us. It's, it's coming back to you, brother. It's coming back to you, man. From all these abominable uh, uh, things like these holidays and these pork and this food that you push on uh, our people. Hey, all of that you're going to be repaid for, man. All the blood you shed over here in Babylon. Numbers 35 and 33. So, so ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are for blood. For blood, it defiled the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of, of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. All right? So you uh, people are going to have to, uh, you know, pay immensely. Y'all got to pay, man. Look at this. Look at this picture that you see. Got us tied up, bricks on our back, hanging. And these motherfuckers want uh want to join hand in hands, bitch. Please, man. You got you got the men of the Lord fucked up, all the way fucked up, all the way fucked up. Yeah, y'all all the way out there. Isaiah sixty and fourteen. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at thy soles, at the soles of thy feet. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord Yahweh, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. So you you other nations going to bow down, start with Esau, Edom. Verse 15, whereas thou hast forsaken and hated, so that no man went thee through thee, I will make thee an, ex, an eternal excellency, a joy of the generation. So the Lord is going to beautify his, his people. All right, and we're being beautified by waking up out of this fucking dead state we were we were in. Isaiah sixty and ten, and the sons of the strangers shall build thy walls. All right, all you other nations are gonna be in hardcore slavery for a thousand years, building up the kingdom of heaven on earth, and their kings shall minister unto them unto thee. Yeah, all your kings are gonna be taking care of our kids, serving us, being good slaves. For in my wrath I smote thee. Yeah, Yahweh by Simeon was sigh in his anger. Yeah, he punished us. But in my favor have I had mercy on thee. But Yahweh by Simeon was sigh is a balanced uh, power. And he had mercy on the apple of his eye, his children. We are his actual children. You fuck with the Lord's children. I don't give a fuck. That's a no-no. And look what he done to Israelites. Look at this picture. The Lord sanctioned that. And this is what you done. And this is what he done to his people. And you done it to his people. 
So, guess what? You were the sword that he used. So, now it's your time to build our land up. Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of uh, Jacob. Yeah, those strangers is going to be uh, the other Israelites around the world. They're going to be joined. They're going to be brought to us. All right. They're going to be brought to Israel on the fucking backs of you heathens. Verse 2. Isaiah 14 and 2, and the people shall take them and bring them to their pal to their place and the houses that in the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord Yahweh for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them cap captives, whose captives they wore, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Bam, baby. It don't get no better than that. Oh, wait, hold up. It, 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 it might get a little bit better. <laughs> oh, wait. The Lord cutting up. How cutting up. Okay. Okay. Let's go right here. All right. I'm going to hit you with this. Hit you with that fire. All right. Sirach 25 and verse 7. One of my favorite scriptures. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that had joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. Salaram, Yasserala.